Toyota. Toyota, oh, what a feeling. Uh, Toyota has, um, interestingly, they're one of the car companies, which is, of course, getting made by Tesla to look, um, you know, like a dinosaur at the moment and kind of in danger. And it's kind of ironic because, you know, here's the thing with Japan. Japan has a lot of engineers that are good at producing patentable IP, and they patent a lot. And to it's funny, of car and, you know, sort of a battery patents, Toyota actually has the most patents of any company in the world. It's just that they, for whatever reason, have decided not to use them. And they've been open about the reasons that they haven't used them. Um, which is pretty much that they are now beholden to these enormous supply networks of every car engine component um, that, you know, to break off those components, to actually rejig their supply chains, to be able to go to a Tesla type, you know, um, iPhone with wheels would actually, to break off those existing supply contracts and everything would, would take, you know, beyond probably like 10 years to be able to convert. And so it's not a not so much a, pro a technology problem for Toyota about the ability to do it, although that is part of the problem. But the, the, the bigger problem is, is that they are just part of a sort of overladen supply chain where, you know, Tesla's just gone from the ground up with the very simplified. I mean, this is the thing about electric cars. They, they have far fewer engine and far fewer components to make. Um, you know, to me, Teslas are, I mean, I would, just the, the, the ludicrous mode thing, just for that alone, I, I am interested. Apparently, they do need servicing. Apparently, they are not great quality, and that's that's what Toyota really sells. But this is what people, people kind of want, a Tesla performance in uh, the quality of a Toyota. Um, and the good news is that if that's what you want, Toyota is promising to release 15 uh, electric models. It's not clear exactly what they're going to be yet. Or what kind of platform they're going to use or how electric they're going to be or how much range they're going to have or how, what the performance is going to be like and no doubt they're going to actually probably look a lot more familiar like current hybrid and, and current cars um, it is good i suppose that they've realized the urgency of switching over i mean the fact that uh, tesla's market cap actually recently i think exceeded toyota's which is just crazy in the in the time that they've done it um i i, I love the fact that uh, i i don't know does tesla's uh money does that go over to SpaceX, or I guess it does through via Elon Musk's pockets, but uh, what SpaceX is doing is super cool, and I think from that perspective, uh, that, that to me is another reason to buy a Tesla, but at the same time, um, I, I would really love to see Japanese engineers who you know are good at this stuff, uh, you know, show their hand and actually get get into this. So if they're saying that they're going to release 15 electric uh, vehicle models by 2025, I really want to see what those cars are. And I guess if the, 2025 isn't far away, so we're probably going to start to see the concepts and prototypes of those in the next year or two. Um, but there again, I mean, given how fast some other manufacturers, particularly like Volvo and even General Motors and some others, Honda are already moving. Nissan, of course. Um, even 2025 seems pretty late at this point, although it, it's it's light speed from a Toyota perspective. I think they realize that their business is in trouble. But um, one thing to note, uh, it's going to be massively disruptive for not only just Toyota as a company, but for Aichi Prefecture. That whole prefecture, you know, half of that prefecture is uh, either Toyota or businesses that supply Toyota. In order, in order to switch to electric cars, um, they're going to have to get a lot of those companies to either retool. I mean, even getting them all to retool, this is a whole thing. Electric cars just don't have as many components, so they can't all convert over to something else. It's going to be really disruptive for the economy of Aichi um, you know, around Toyota. But uh, at the same time, I really want to see some really cool uh, high-tech Japanese cars, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, I've heard a lot that there are a lot of parallels with smartphones, just in terms of the lithium battery being key, in terms of the components and so on. It's why a lot of phone manufacturers are looking at making the cars. Um, interesting to note there that although Japan actually had um, smart phones way ahead of, you know, even the iPhone, at least at launch, um, Japan was way ahead of everywhere in terms of smartphones. It, when the iPhone model, when that came out and everyone started trying to copy that, they, it just didn't work. And I, I tried. I invested in some Toshiba laptops and so on, and they were all pieces of crap. Um, so as much faith as I have in Japanese engineers, uh, I've also seen them screw up at this kind of technology conversion. So we'll have to see. But I am very glad to see that they are committing at least to making more of those things, and I'm, I'd like to see what they are.